Yo, what is up everyone? We're back here at Get Jacked on Ark Survival Evolved. And we got some pretty cool stuff ahead of us today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go over our pin pad. So we've been playing around with it a little bit, so it's a remote activation keypad. I kind of showed it in the last episode, but I've kind of strayed away from building it and playing with it because it's kind of annoying to get used to, and I just wanted to do a little guide to show people like how to use this kind of thing. So what you do is say I've got my door, so I'm going to go to pin code. I'll go to set pin code, and I'll go to 1111, for instance. So we go to our remote activation keypad, and we type in 1111, and look it our door opens and so it's like a little remote keyway to get into here it's pretty cool it like kind of shows a little access so you can also do different ones we'll clear this pin code I don't know what it's at so we'll set pin code and we'll go 2222 for this door so we'll go to our pin pad and we'll go 2222 boom so there are tons of applications for this behind doors. So you can't actually, if I go to activate, and I go to two, oops, can't delete. You can't delete if you go into it. So I'm gonna go to activate, and I go to 2222. Two, two, two. Now, it just makes the door noise, but it doesn't actually open or close that door right there. You have to actually go to deactivate close pins, and go to 2222, two, 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 and your door will close. And you can do the same thing for this one. So it's pretty cool and kind of like the applications for this is I've got a gate right there You can't really see it, um, but I've got this set up. So if I go Activate open pins and I go to I believe it's my zeros. I Don't know if you could hear that, but that was the gate opening up there So I can open the gate when someone flies up without actually having to run up there and do the gate So we'll deactivate close our gate back up and okay another cool thing probably the coolest thing maybe I don't know uh, if oh close close up if you go to here you see my turret on the very top right there it's deactivated right now so I've got that set up to this as well so you can actually have your turret activated by this so you activate open pins and that one's set to this and here we go. It is activated now and ready to fire. So I don't even have to, so I can look out here, I'm like, oh crap, there's a dinosaur. Or look at that parasaur is going to attack. And I can turn on the turret just right here without having to run up there and do anything. And you can do multiple turrets as well. I'm going to deactivate it for now. And it's deactivated. Check that out. Pretty cool. Alright, so that's our little tutorial on how to use the keypads because that's definitely something that I think is overlooked quite a bit in ARK. But we're gonna go out and we're gonna do something pretty fun now. Our penguins have been up here kind of chilling and I'm gonna be honest, I got a little bit carried away with breeding them. I started just breeding a ton of them and they're kind of they're kind of annoyed with me because they don't have any water or anything to swim in up here. Oh my goodness! Three eggs? Thank you so much. You don't even have a name. But, uh, we just got three eggs from that one. These ones lay eggs a lot, so expect to be getting tons of eggs from your penguins. But we're going to build a little enclosure for them. I'll take you out to where it is. We just have to find Apollo. I parked him out back. We're going to go out there, we're going to get on Apollo, and we're going to check out the building site here. And we're going to build us up a little water area near the swamp uh, that we can get everything going in. So, let's go on to ride. No. Ride? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So, we've got this. Do I... You know what? I don't know why this gate's open. I should probably close it before Fizz gets out. Because he will wander out. So we'll close that, and this is where we're going, right over the cliff here. We've got our uh, T-Rex guarding the area, kind of protecting it from anything that might get in. You can see him down there. So this is kind of a safer spot. It's right down here from our, our ledge. It's rainy and nasty, and sorry about that. <laughs> it's just really gross right now. But it usually is an arc. So we've got our fo fence foundation laid out right now. It's got this little area here, so you can swim, 
and the penguins actually do swim around it's pretty awesome to watch when they're on wander so I left a couple rocks in there just for decoration and we've got this so I've got a lot of supplies here on our t-rex so let's carry those and we'll start to build kind of this area up and it is kind of goofy when building in water and that kind of stuff and it looks like it's starting to get lighter outside so we might see like some sunrise action so let's get these going I hope this is set up right I kind of just placed these hoping that they were right so that looks like it's gonna go pretty well that one is backwards so we want to press E and break it and get a new one up there we don't want them to be backwards cuz they just have to look nice so I've got these and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put stone walls up on here and then we're gonna put a railing above that so we don't want anything getting into our pen uh, and damaging our poor little penguins. So we've got that as kind of our line of defense first is a wall around this area. And then I think, okay, that's going to be an Apollo. Apollo's also got supplies for us. We've got a generator, all this kind of stuff, because we want lighting in here. And here are the railings that we're going to put up top. But we've also got, oh, we've got poop here. That is for the large crop plots because we're gonna put some species X plants in here as well just to protect our penguins because we don't want anything to happen to them so let's get to building this and uh, we'll see how it goes I am already so excited about this new addition. Check this out. We've got all the penguins on Wander. They're just zooming around, just having a great time. This is just really fun to watch. They've got this little diving platform. I left that rock there. They'll climb around on that. It's great. 
Um, so if you just use the environment to your advantage, you can definitely make some cool pieces of work. All it took was that wall, and it does look pretty cool. I like the wall and everything. I put the generator inside of this little diving platform here. Um, but so, so that we can just add gas. I'm going to add a little doorway so that I can add gas and light up this area pretty well. We've got the standing torches and stuff going, but it'll be great to get like a little area like that. So we have one more piece of the puzzle that we need to put together. So we've got some plant species X plants. So I want to place these kind of along here just so that they're protected in case, just in case anything happens because stuff happens in art. Can't place this underwater. Okay, let's place it right here. So let's put, where am I? Okay, here's the seeds. So we'll throw these in here and then throw in our fertilizer. And I think I might have to grab a pipe even though it's right next to the water. I think I'll actually have to grab a pipe and put that in to irrigate it. So we'll do that and we'll put one probably right where Apollo is on. Move him and we'll put one right where to go. Oh, it's already in here. Right here, probably. Just in case. Because we don't want anything to happen to these penguins. They all have over 1,000 health now, so they should be able to kind of defend themselves a little bit. But we've got that. Yeah, it still says it's not irrigated, so we are going to have to put something in. But that's not a big deal. But, oh, they look so much happier. And I think because we're in the swamp, it's pretty warm down here. So their eggs might actually hatch if they actually turn out to, you know, have any babies by themselves. They might actually hatch down here, and I might just see some breeding going around. So I hope you liked the little tutorial on keypads. I hope you liked the little montage we did there, and this turned out great. Uh, please hit that thumbs up if you did like the video, or subscribe to the channel for more content. We're having a lot of fun here at Get Jacked. But other than that, we'll catch you later, and have a great day.